It's Friday morning, and here in Marshall, library workers and patrons are ready to flip the page for new expansion. The Marshall Public Library was chosen by Illinois to receive a $300,000 grant from the $22.5 million total given out to nearly 90 businesses throughout the state. The money comes from the Tourism Attractions and Festivals Grant Program signed by J.B. Pritzker in early April, and it's designed to increase tourism throughout the state. Head librarian Jamie Porman says the money will allow them to expand their genealogy resources and add an elevator to the second floor. It's a big deal for the library. We've always dreamed of using the upstairs and we couldn't be without an elevator with um, handicap access. And I think it's great for our community. Library director Allison Thompson says the community sees them as more than just a place to read. Uh, we are really a community hub and to expand our space and offer more resources, not only to our community, but beyond our borders is quite exciting. And Thompson says the expansion plans will match the city of Marshall's recent efforts to improve and renew the area. Um, there's been a lot of revitalization efforts by our City of Marshall and Chamber of Commerce, and this just flows hand in hand with the um, downtown revitalization efforts. But it's not just the library staff that's all aboard. Marshall resident and library patron Alex Barnett says the library community here has made a big impact. This is probably one of my favorite libraries that I've been to in my lifetime because it has a lot of things that other libraries don't have. And the more people get involved in things like this, the more grants that can be provided for local libraries like this. And Barnett says library goers have made this a unique part of town over the last two decades. Oh, it'll get more people to come. Just look at all the murals that have been um, done to this library. This library has really changed in the last 20 years since I've been here. In Marshall, I'm Harrison Belsanti for WEIU Newswatch.